I mean, the clock is not their friend. LeBron going to the basket, drive, kick, Troy Brown, got it! Huge three! Yes, sir! Lakers back in this thing. 113-112. Yeah. Now they don't have to foul. Yeah. Play defense. Play defense. Stop. Joel and the crowd rising to its feet. Oh, they switch big little here. With Russ in front of Embiid with eight to shoot. He's sizing him up. Embiid fall away. No, Lakers! Shot clock is off. They're down by one. They're not calling a timeout. Russ, oh, nearly loses it. With five, with four. Russ drives. Oh, it's underneath. And the Lakers are going to lose it. And they never got a shot away. And they didn't call a timeout. That's what surprises me the most, that you get possession, you don't call the timeout and set something up. That's going to that's going to haunt them till tomorrow. So tomorrow they'll have another game, and another you got to let things go. But this was a situation again where they had a big time opportunity to possibly win the game. Clock was not their friend as Russ was working against Embiid, and somehow Embiid forced him into throwing it, and it just never did get close to being a shot attempt. And, the Lakers lose the ball game. How about back-to-back one-point wins for Philadelphia, Utah, and the Lakers? But for the Lakers now, boy, what a tough couple of tough losses. Crazy tough losses to Dallas and here to Philly. But again, no timeout, so we'll have to see what the thinking was there. Post-game shows coming up. Lakers fall to 19 and 24, but as Stu mentioned, Another 